OK OK, we agree that you are a PhD student and smart but have you ever thought if your research goals are also smart like you? Because if not, this might be you at the end of your PhD and that will be too late to fix anything. So next time, before you commit your next six months on a fancy research idea, stop and evaluate your research goal using the SMART technique. SMART stands for specific, measurable, achievable, relevant, and time-bound. We will dissect each step of SMART technique to help you select your next goal smartly. Let's start with being specific. If your current research plan sounds like I want to conduct a survey for next six months of my PhD then you are not specific. It should have sounded like I want to conduct a public survey based on a questionnaire using social media to collect data about opinions of millennials on the new ABC government policy. The survey will run for six months to collect enough data for the initial hypothesis. You can see that specific research goals are clear and self-explanatory. This stops you from attempting open-ended problems. Now you have decided a specific goal, next question to ask yourself is how am I going to measure my progress? It is a good idea to put a number to quantify your progress. Continuing with our previous survey example, you can measure your progress by saying I will be writing a 2000 word report for each month's data and develop my hypothesis based on it. Similar other examples could be I will test my new diet plan to check if my subjects are losing one pound per week with minimal physical exercise. You can see how assigning a measuring unit to your efforts helps you to keep a check on your progress. The next step to consider is that your goal should be achievable. Just because you think that a goal is important for your PhD thesis, it does not mean that it is always achievable with the provided resources. For example, suppose you have planned to make experimental measurements to capture a length change of 1 mm, but the instruments that you have are only sensitive to measure minimal changes of 10 mm. Your next step should be either to ask for better instruments which can be time consuming to get approved or just update your experimental plan accordingly. Irrespective of how badly you wanted to measure things with high sensitivity, PhD research can always be limited by the available resources. So, it's a good idea to be aware of the available resources. Just because you are busy doing a certain task during your PhD, does not mean that it will take you a step closer to the completion of your degree. Your goal should be relevant to your thesis outline. For example, if you wanted to develop a thesis about opinion of millennials about new education-related government policies, addressing the opinions of Gen Z will not contribute to your work irrespective of how well cover the unrelated goal. Cross-checking your every new goal with this relevance matrix will help you to stay on track and complete your degree on time. Finally, the last stage of SMART analysis is time-bound. The earlier you understand the following fact better it will be for you in a long run. Research is infinite but your degree duration and scholarships are not. Evaluating your goals timeline on regular basis is crucial for the timely completion of your PhD commitment. In conclusion, following smart technique to evaluate your next research goal can save you from common issues faced by PhD students. The phrases like I am super busy with my work and still not progressing towards completion or my research funding ran out and I am not even halfway through my thesis can definitely be avoided by smartly planning your PhD thesis. Hope this video gave you some insight into making your PhD journey a little easier. You can download the smart template from the link in the description to evaluate your research goals. Good luck for your PhD thesis and don't forget to subscribe Doctoral Mates.